Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Today's tutorial is actually inspired by one of the models in our catalog. It's on page 47, and it's this one right here. So hopefully you'll stick around and join me in this tutorial so that you can learn a new look. Go ahead and take your primer. And all you need is one squirt right onto a sponge or your fingers, whatever you feel more comfortable doing, and go ahead and apply it to your whole face. Now you want to take your concealer, and I have a concealer brush. You can use your fingers or a sponge. Start right at the inner part of your eye and then blend. I also like to conceal any redness around my nose. Right now I have a little bit of a cold, so my nose is a little red. As you can tell. Also go ahead and dab on any imperfections you may have. I'm going to be using my mineral powder foundation. and. My color is my complexion. I'm using tan, and I absolutely love it. It gives me just such a radiant look. I'm taking my facial application brush. I'm going to apply it just like so. Start with suede, and you can grab your big eyeshadow brush, and you can go ahead and apply that to the bottom half of your eyelid. You take your cocoa eyeliner, which is the brown one, and you just want to get right into the root of your eyelash, all the way to your tear duct, right in there. On these little blending applicators here. I call them my little blending applicators. your tear line and just blend 
and give yourself a little wing at the end. That way it can work as your lead. With a dark eyeshadow we're going to put on and grab your um, shading brush and your Cabernet eyeshadow. Cabernet. Here we go. Alright. So I'm using that little wing mostly as kind of a guide. corner and you want to bring in the rest shading it blending it Don't worry about making a mess right now because I'm going to show you how to clean it up. Now, you're going to take a little bit and go down the bottom, like so. pretty much all you need. Alright. Once again, take your cocoa eyeliner. You want to just reinforce that little corner there, some eyeliner. Now, remember that little sponge with um, primer. Primer is still on there, so <clears throat> what I like to do afterwards is just go ahead and wherever you feel there's a little bit of a mess, just go ahead and give it a little swipe. And then even out any areas to make them look exactly alike or close to it and there you are, voila you've got your look and you're off to the next step wait linen just to give it a little Up here. 
Go ahead and take your bronzer. Now this is optional. You don't necessarily have to do this, but I just like to give myself the illusion of having a higher cheekbone. Um, just put a little bronzer on that and just go back and forth right here, right where the hairline is right next to the ear lobe and just go back and forth. Very lightly. So for today's look, we are going to use Blossom. Such a beautiful color. Um, go ahead and take your blush brush and to find the cheek you the apple of your cheeks. All you have to do is just simply smile. And that's okay, so it. our lips are going to be copper today. Copper and for a lip liner it's gonna be cafe. And start with our lip liner. Cafe. And we start right at the corners. Work inward. Now take copper, such a beautiful color, um, I get compliments every time I wear it. Um, go ahead and take your lip brush, I think it's the best way to apply lipstick because you get into all your little cracks, crevices. We are ready for some eyebrow gel. Just go ahead and brush them up. And then your triple action mascara. In most cases, you only need one coat, but I will put on two coats just to show you how much um, volume it does give them with two. one coat. Cleaning is a breeze. You can use a sponge again. Now go out there and try this look on other people. They're going to love it. <laughs>